Hello folks and welcome back to the workshop. In this video I'm going to show you how I make perfect half lap joints on a table saw. It's a very simple process so whether you're wanting to use end half laps or a half lap in the center of a piece of wood this system will work perfect for both and I'll show you how to set up for both. But it's so simple all you require to do this is a block of timber and a wood screw. It's that simple. And all you need to be able to do is just clamp it this in place as a stop block. That's it. So for this uh, video I'm going to use my recently made um, cross cut sled. But it'll work just as well on the main fence of the saw. It can even be adapted to use it uh, using the rip fence for the saw especially for the end cuts, uh, to work the same. Once you see how it's done, you'll see how simple it is to modify it or and adapt it to your own needs, even for to use on a, a miter saw, providing the miter saw has a, a dip setting. It's very simple to use, and it's so simple and works perfectly every time. So I'll move you around, bring you in a bit closer, and I'll show you how it's made and how it's set up. Okay guys, this is the block I'm using, uh, which has a bolt in it so that I can attach it to the fence on the cross cut sled and have adjustment. But an ordinary block and use a clamp does the very same thing. As I said, the, the screw in this is the important part. Now I have this done with a screw on either side and it's off centered. But we'll come back to the second screw. The first one we'll concentrate on first. So to set that up, you're setting that up the same as the kerf weight on the blade. So you just adjust that till it's flush with the, the tip of the cutting edge of the blade. Now, <clears throat> once you get it fairly close, you can start to do the setup because you're going to be able to adjust this to get the fine adjustment. If it's a little bit tight, you can just screw that in a little bit, or if the joint is a little bit loose, you can screw it out a bit. It's very easy to adjust it. Once you have it set for the blade, that's it. You don't have to look at it no more. So <clears throat> for this one, I'm going to be using it on, like I said, the cross cut sled. I just put on the wing nut. And to set it up, to set this up, the only thing you need to do is get a continuation of the blade running back with the thickness of the timber that you're going to be using, or the width of the timber, the same as the timber you're going to be using. And just slide it back, but not back far enough that it's hitting the screw. Have it in the way that that's coming up against the block of timber. Like that. And just make sure you're hitting the tooth at the front and at the back. Let that in and lock it down. So when you go to start, you're automatically up against the screw, which is keeping you back the width of the blade so that the cutout is exactly the right weight. Now it's important that you start in there with your cut and work out because if you work the opposite way, you'll have removed the material and there'll be nothing there to hit the screw when you go in. So that's why it's important to start there and work your way out. Now, the other part of a half lap joint, of course, is the height of the blade. Getting the height of the blade dead center on the piece of wood. Now, what I'd normally do for that is I'd get it as close as I can by eye and then I'd run one pass this way, flip the timber over and run it again and just see how much I have left. And I just keep minor adjustments up or down until I just barely have the smallest of fibers left in the middle. Then you know you're centered on the blade for the height. And uh, this blade is just a standard blade which has the angled teeth. Now it would be ideal to have a flat top blade, you know that every fifth, sixth uh, tip has a flat top on it. 
Now, I actually have one, but it's way been sharpened, so I don't have it for this one. But this still does the very same thing. You might just have a little bit of uh, clean up to do with uh, a chisel, but if the blade is sharp, actually that actually helps for a glue joint. So, we'll just cut on, I'll cut these, we'll see how it fits, we can adjust that if we need to, and then I'll do another one on the other end and we'll have a corner lap. Okay, there's both of those cut out, and they're actually pretty clean. So, we just offer them together, and that's actually perfect. On the ends, it's perfectly level, and it's perfectly centered. Hopefully you can see that. So that's how to make the perfect end uh, half lap. It's that simple. You just let it in to the screw and work your way back. That gives you the exact weight. Like I said, if that was a bit shy there, screw the screw in a little bit, or if it protrudes past, let the screw out a little bit. That adjusts the length of the half lap. So, moving on from that then, let's say that you want to put a half lap joint into the center of a piece of wood. So you're wanting to go there, so that this will go in like that. The way I'd normally do that is <clears throat> we'll go back to the block again, and I just remove the block. And as you can see, I have another screw on the other side, which is off-centered, so that I can actually install that upside down on the fence. And what this allows me to do, is it allows the timber to go underneath it. So with a few pieces of scraps, you, again, to set it up, you want to come back level with the blade, you want to be above the piece of wood, and we're just going to level back again, but I'm doubling up because I must, I'm a bit higher, and I just let the block once again go to the piece of timber, like that, like that, and now that is set, the width again of your tenon piece, as we'll call it, back from the blade. So what I find, very simple way of doing this, to take that notch out, is to get an off cut of the same material, the same width, little small, little bit of double sided tape, only a small bit, and <clears throat> keeping that up against the fence, that square, just stick it exactly where you're wanting, on the back of the cutout you're wanting. Like that. Then you just let it in to the, with a block the same, just let that in to keep it away from the fence, like so. And you start your cut there, and you work your way across until this block hits the screw and that will give you the perfect weight as well. So we'll do that now and we'll see what we end up with. And 
And that's that half lap cut in the middle of your piece of wood. So just to try it then. And as you can see, that's a perfect fit in the center of the piece of wood. And all you do is just take off your scrap piece and that's as perfect a joint as you're going to get with a very, very, very simple system that you can adjust for whatever piece. If you have like a 50 mil piece and you're wanting to join a 70 mil piece into it, you just set that out to 70 mil to the block and your screw is giving you your curve cut every time. Okay guys, that's how simple it is to make perfect half lap joints on your table saw just using a block of timber with a wood screw in it. And I'm sure a good few of you will be able to make use of this in future projects. So as usual, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't already done so, maybe you consider subscribing to the channel. And if you know somebody who's not on YouTube but would actually think this is useful, by all means, feel free to share this video with them. And uh, let's spread the word. So, again, all I can say is thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Good luck.